Go with FederalRules.com here with episode 10 of our summer interview series. We're here in the lovely Hall of Fame room, joined by the Hall of Famer himself, Dax Charles, CSU Bubblehead Wrestling Coach. Dax, how you doing today? Great. I'm doing great. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here. Obviously, Olympic wrestling right around the corner. Um, how do you think the U.S. will do here at the Rio 16 Games? Oh, we're pretty excited to watch the Olympics. Being a regional training center um, in Colorado, specifically specializing in the Greco-Roman wrestling, three of the Olympians has been in our room at one point in time over the last three or four years. Um, Andy Bisick, uh, Ben Provisor, um, you got um, Jesse Delkey, and um, oh, Andy, Andy Bisick, oh, oh, can't forget the big guy, um, Big Smith, Robbie Smith. You know, those guys are really close to our program, close to our kids. Um, I, I open and cheering them on for a gold medal all of them. And then, you know, with the freestyle, you know, it's a phenomenal wrestler, Jordan Burroughs, um, looking to, to repeat for his second gold medal. Uh, very excited to see him wrestle and the rest of our freestyle team. And then our women's program, Adeline Gray. I had an opportunity um, for my two daughters to meet Adeline um, this su last summer at a wedding. Um, phenomenal young lady. Um, exceptional ap 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 athlete, and I'm, I'm just uh, excited to see her wrestle. My girls are watching wrestling on TV at the Olympics. It's exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting, as you mentioned, Adeline Gray. Um, do you think that we're going to see more women uh, compete at the college level ever? Um, right now, it's the fastest growing college sport, um, well, high school sport for females. And currently, right now, a female wrestling. Is, is taking off uh, throughout the United States. And uh, we have some very uh, talented Colorado girls that wrestle at, at a high level. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna continue to grow, especially at the, at the Olympic level. Obviously very exciting to have the Olympics right here, watching them. And now, uh, you had a couple of guys who were at Olympic hopefuls, all Americans, and Jacob Mitchell and those guys. So I'm just talking about how you feel about your team uh, after such a strong season last year, um, we, we're doing we're doing well. I, I, I believe that I, we put together a team this year that would uh, be better than uh, like 12th place finish at the nationals this year. So I'm excited. Jacob will be back for one last semester, and actually Jacob placed fourth at the Olympic trials um, this summer. So he, he came close, and we have Jacoby Jones back. He's going to try to add another All American be a three-time All-American for us. Um, and we have some, some really good recruits coming in, and the rest of our guys that competed for us last year have been working hard this summer, so I'm excited. Now, you're standing here in the Hall of Fame room. Last year you were inducted in the CSU Pueblo Hall of Fame. What did that award mean to you? Oh, I, it, was, it was a great honor. Um, it just made me think back of all the, all the hard work that we had to go into the sport of wrestling and then be recognized by CSU Pueblo in the Division II National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Um, it, it's a great honor and it's something I'll carry for the rest of my life. Well, congratulations again on that honor. Um, final question here, kind of wrapping it up. Um, summer's coming to an end, but what do you like to do in your summer when you're not taking guys down in the wrestling room? I spend a lot of time with my, my, two, my two daughters and my wife. We do a lot of family activities together. Um, I just recently went on a backpacking trip with my daughter, so we do a lot of outdoor activities. Um, and then, you know, we just continue training. I mean, training doesn't stop throughout the summer. It's true. It's Twenty, <laughs> or it's twelve months commitment being having that big year. So just yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Dax. All right, thank you. All right, thank you for watching. Be sure to join us tomorrow for Facebook Live with John Wrestling.